Thank you, Jonas. And if you're me, your shoes have the face of your dog on them. Jonas, I think they were really liking that. You should keep tying your shoes. Encore! 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 We hope you like our new direction. You should have given him the necklace for <laughs> What's that? The new album's called Shoes. <laughs> it's just a podcast. It explains the tying shoes.
It'll take a couple days to post this. Thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Tonight, there's a lot of them. Uh, so I can name all of them. But, but Jirai, awesome. Cool kids, awesome. Quincy, awesome. We are the awesome. Dollar sign, awesome. Oh my God. 
have such a stacked lineup here. Yeah. And it's all thanks to Jamie Corona. I just want to give a shout out to Jamie. Uh, Woo! 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 Um, and I'm happy that we're all here, and I'm having a good time. I'm going to try to make this short so we can get back to the good stuff. But I want to take a moment to remind everyone, because right now, there are three very important things going on in the world right now. Sudan's having a civil war that's killing thousands of people due to human rights violations and the resistance armies over there fighting against the government. It's killing thousands of people every day, and I encourage you all to at least look into it. Look into it, see what you can do to help the people there, because there are innocent civilians being killed. In the Congo, right now, children, Families, people, innocent people are being forced into slavery to mine cobalt for things like iPhones, smartphones, laptops, all kinds of technology for various countries. And it's being done by several other oppressive countries around them. I'd advise you look into that. Just look into it. See what you can do for the families. Donate money to organizations that can actually help. Things like that. I encourage you to at least take a look into it. And most importantly, I just want to call out and mention the apartheid state of Israel's genocide against the Gazan people. Right now, there are terrible things happening over there. Millions of people are being displaced, killed, and hurt for various reasons that are totally unjustifiable. It's been going on for years. They've done it to Libya, they've done it to Egypt, they've sterilized Ethiopian Jewish people down in uh, Africa. And they will not stop at a ceasefire. It would be nice if we had a ceasefire. But I encourage you to look into it. If you can go to protest, I encourage you to go to protest. If you can't go to protest, Donating ESIMs to help the innocent people escape with their families. If you can't do that, sharing those things to make people can, you know, donate. If that can't happen, just speaking up about it, just talking to your friends, looking into it, look into what scholars are saying about it. There's a lot of stuff out there, and I really think that we should all take the time to just at least acknowledge that and see it. So free Palestine, fuck Benjamin Netanyahu, fuck the US We don't have much time, I just wanted to say thank you everybody for being here. Uh, another thank you, thank you to the Glass House, thank you to Jamie Coletta for making this all possible. Uh, it, it means a lot to us, it's a, it's a long, long distance for a lot of these bands to travel, and it's a hard time to travel. 
Uh, isn't it? With, uh, with COVID the way that it is, there's a current surge happening right now. And I just want to recognize uh, all of you that are wearing masks and doing this for us. We really appreciate that so much. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Like, seriously. Um, as some of you may have seen this, some of you may not know this, but uh, this is one of the final two shows that I will be playing with Glass Beach Live. Uh, I, I'm stepping back away from live music, I'm still in the band, I'll be writing and recording with everyone. But um, I have no ill will towards bands that are still trying to move forward in this, this current landscape. I hope that all of them treat themselves with kindness and safety and do everything they can to have bodies and minds that that exists throughout the longevity of hopefully a career for them. And uh, I hope that all of you are being safe so that you can appreciate a community of art together without destroying yourselves and the, your friends and family. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you to the Seattle Clean Air Collective. Thank you, too. Yeah. Uh, the Seattle Clean Air Collective, which uh, helped provide an air purifier and far UVC and like other sterilizing and cleaning implements for us to feel better and more confident about doing shows like this and to protect you and the other bands that are up here. And thank you to the uh, or, 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 Airgasmic, there it is, Airgasmic LA, uh, which, uh, and the, uh, the LA Mask Block, which are both very local and they are here to help and they're incredible and you can get involved with that, you can check them out, Mask Block LA and Airgasmic LA on Instagram and stuff like that. They're doing amazing work and it is necessary work. So, thank you. Gonna do another one real quick. Another brand new song. <laughs> <laughs>
I know y'all know this one. Apologies for having to cut her set a little bit short because of the late start. Got a city curfew. <laughs>
Thank you so much everybody for coming.